Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here with more Starbound Mod Outpost. This is part two of my unique ship mod showcase where I focus on creative ship mods with an original look that in most cases use 100% completely original pixel art for the ship design. These happen to be my favorite ship mods and I did try to cram as many as I could into this episode. However, there were still a few unfortunately that I didn't get a chance to show off so there will likely be a part three in about a week, maybe less. So keep an eye out for that if you like this episode and with that let's start checking out these ships. Alright guys, so the first ship we're having a look at here is the ECCA Industries Model 832 Survey Explorer. And this is made by Rizzozo, and as you can see, it is a very pretty ship indeed. I really like the exterior, the pixel art is great, the blue and grey looks really nice. As you can no doubt also see, the interior of the ship is actually quite small. Let me zoom in just a tiny bit so you guys can see it a little closer up. Um, I really like how the thruster back here appears to be behind the rest of the ship. I think it gives it a nice illusion of depth, and the ship overall has a very original design. Um, this is the single wing variant. There's actually a double wing variant and I'm going to go ahead and show that guys to you right now. And here we have the double wing variant. Now this ship is actually a replacement ship for the Apex starter ship but you'll notice that I am a high loadal. It's actually super easy to make any ship mod really, the starting ship for any race that you want including modded races and I do plan on making a tutorial explaining how to do that as well as a few other things soon so it can really be the starter ship for any race you want as well as any other ship mod that I do feature. So once again guys, this is the ECCA Industries Model 832 Survey Explorer by Rizzozo. And as long as you don't mind traveling light, this might just be the ship for you. Okay guys, so the second ship mod that we're having a look at here is the Starbug ship from the Red Dwarf series. This is done by Okash. Um, Red Dwarf is a British sci-fi comedy um, that I have never seen before in my life, which is funny because this is the second ship mod that I've actually featured by Okash. The other one I covered was the Satellite of Love ship from Mystery Science Theater 3000, which is another sci-fi comedy that I have never seen before in my life. Anyway, I think this is a really good looking ship. It actually looks quite a bit like the ship from the show. I know I just said i never seen it, which is true, but uh, I did look up a picture of the ship and it basically looks like this, only this is a pixelated version. I really like the green and I really like the, the texture on the green, it looks, or the shading, I should say. It looks really nice. Um, we have some nice fuzzy dice hanging right here in the pilot's area, which I think is very cool as well. A few things I need to say, uh, though, about this mod, it's not updated for Angry Koala, nor was his other ship mod. Uh, with his Satellite of Love ship, it was as simple as editing the mod info file in the mod's install directory, and it should be as simple here, and it might be, but for some reason, I did have some trouble getting it to work, and in the end, I'm not entirely sure what the problem was, but I did get it working by reinstalling the mod. I edited the mod info file with Notepad++ and changed the version from Offended Koala to Angry to Koala. So hopefully it is just as simple as that and I overlooked something. Uh, and hopefully Oakhash adds an update for this soon as I think it is a really cool little ship. Here we have Commander Keen's Shipping Gear Mob by Dead Squirrel, which gives you the classic ship from the old school lighthearted platformer by id Software, Commander Keen. You know, before all that gory Doom and Wolfenstein stuff. This is the second ship from Dead Squirrel I've shown on the series. I also featured his incredible Serenity ship mod from the equally incredible Firefly series in a previous episode. The actual name of this ship is the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket. It's a spaceship built out of cardboard and propelled with soda-fueled vacuum power. And it looks great. In fact, it actually looks just like it does in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if he lifted the sprite right out of the game, to be honest. Um, as you can see, it's a very tiny ship. It's probably the smallest you could humanly possibly make a ship in this game. Um, it does actually come with a few extra things, though. Uh, if you open up your ship locker, you'll see it comes with the Helm of Keen, which we're going to throw on, his manly purple shirt, uh, his jeans, and also this delicious hamburger and a, his red ray gun, which we are going to equip, and we are going to beam down to a planet and kill an alien with this ray gun. So let's do it. Maybe we'll even see a Vorticon. Oh, that is cool. I want to find something to kill. Uh, it does take quite a bit of energy. Uh, look, there's something to kill. Oh, wow. We, we one-shot things on it. At least on tier one planets, anyway. Okay. Let's beam on back to the ship. So, there you have it, folks. Once again, this is Commander Keen's Shipping Gear by Dead Squirrel. I think it's an awesome throwback to a classic PC game. I played a ton of Commander Keen when I was a kid, and I loved it, and I still do, so I thought this was pretty cool. Alright, guys, so the next ship mod that we're having a look at here is the Logistics Frigate 
by beef time. And as you can no doubt see, in stark contrast to the other ships I've featured on this episode so far, this is a gigantic monster of a ship. It is a behemoth. I did a config file edit, I forget which one, but it did allow me to go down to a 1x zoom level. And as you can see, even that is not zoomed out enough to capture the sheer size of this ship. So let me just go ahead and zoom in and let's just do a walk around of the ship here. This is where they keep the fuel and as you can see, it does hold 5,000 fuel, so a large amount of fuel for a very large ship. And here we have the pilot's area. I do like this circular array of monitors that we have up here. And here is the pilot's chair. And as you can see, there's no navigation console or anything in front of it. But I do think that the sheer massive size of this ship makes up for any minor shortcoming like that. And this is still very much a work in progress, so I'm sure that will get added in in the future. The whole outside of the ship, the exterior, was all custom sprited by Beef Time, and I think it looks absolutely incredible. I love the pixel art and I love the style. Um, and down here, here we have the cargo kind of slash loading bay area, as you can see, which is very cool. And let's go ahead and come on up here into the back of the ship. And I, I like this kind of area back here. This giant thruster, I think, could use like a big fireball or something spewing out of it. Maybe some of that pulsating uh, blue stuff. I don't know if it's fire, but you see it on the back of every other ship. I think that would look really cool. This ship comes in a total of six color variations, actually. This one is obviously the blue. And I'm going to zoom out back to a 1x zoom level. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the other colors right now. So let's do that. Here we have the green. It's green. It's got a nice minty green color. It's nice and green. Here we have the purple color variation. Uh, it's almost kind of like a pinkish purple, but it's absolutely great for people who like the color purple and or pink. Here we have the red color variant. Um, and as with the others, it looks great. Uh, it might be my favorite, actually. But yeah, here it is. Here we have the white color variation which I think looks really cool. The white on white works. It works, man. Finally, here we have the yellow color variation. I think all of these color options are quite a nice touch to an already outstanding ship mod. Once again, guys, this was the Logistics Frigate by Beef Time. And actually, this is, like I said, a work in progress, and he does plan on adding some pixel art props in the future. Um, there's going to be like a robot ceiling mounted medical arm and some cool cranes and stuff like that. So this cool mod is actually only going to get better. I definitely think you should check it out. And uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, here we are having a look at the Gilgamesh Battlecruiser by Dog911. And as the name implies, it has very much a battleship kind of vibe going with it. It's got a bunch of guns mounted all over it. There's one up here. There's a big one here. Uh, there's three here right in the front. And there's uh, one back here and a big one back here as well. Uh, there's the name, Gilgamesh. As you can see, it's kind of a big ship. Um, but in comparison to the ship that we just looked at, it now seems kind of small. But I think I would normally consider it big. I'm going to zoom in a bit for you guys just so you can see everything a little bit closer up. And over here is the pilot's area, which I think looks pretty cool. And this is where they keep the fuel. It does hold a thousand fuel. This was all custom sprayed by Dog911 himself. He drew it out on paper and then we did it in Photoshop. And I think he did a great job. I think it looks absolutely cool. So if you're looking for a battleship style spaceship, I think this might just be the ship for you. So it's definitely worth checking out. So the next ship mod we're having a look at here is the Shinano Patrol Craft by Seon, which is a spaceship inspired by a ship of the same name from Space Battleship Yamato Resurrection, which is a show that I've never even heard of before in my life. I've never seen it, and I know nothing about it. So take that for what it is. First things first about the ship, uh, it does come with two ship lockers, both of which contain all of your starting gear, uh, which is totally fine. Just once you clear it out, you do have two 64 slot lockers which is pretty nice. I find the overall look at the ship makes me think of a whale, like a blue whale. I think it mostly has to do with this uh, hump here down at the bottom. But uh, yeah, it's what I thought. Um, it is a pretty large ship. I actually had to zoom out to a 1.5 level zoom to capture all of it. Uh, however, it doesn't feel that large because of all of these small rooms and tight corridors. Uh, it just makes it feel a little bit smaller. And it, these can, it can actually kind of make it a little bit of a pain to move around because you only have one player's space worth of movement and sometimes jumping up especially if the door is closed and you try to jump up and then you got to open it and sometimes you hit your head and stuff like that um you could make it a little easier and put little platforms kind of wherever you need but uh, i think it should maybe probably be a little bit wider another thing about this ship is it does borrow out assets from both the logistics frigate and the Gilgamesh Battle Cruiser, respectively. As you can see, this circular array of monitors is in the captain's area of the Logistics Frigate. And this big thruster in the back, I believe it's the same thruster as well from the Logistics Frigate. Uh, I can't quite tell um, what's from the Gilgamesh Battle Cruiser myself, 
but uh, perhaps those with a keen eye might be able to see it themselves. It does hold a thousand fuel, and that, that's the pilot's area there, which I think looks pretty cool. Let me zoom back out here a little bit. And uh, so yeah, that's it. I think it's a pretty neat little ship mod. Well, big ship mod. But uh, once again, guys, this is the Shenano Patrol Craft by Seon. Also, I do like this Chinese lettering and these cannons here. They're neat. All right, guys, so the next ship mod that we're gonna be having a look at here is the ECCA Model 721 Apex shuttle ship. This is actually the second ship that I featured that is uh, inspired by a ship from the sci-fi anime series Space Battleship Yamato. This is um, inspired by the, uh, there's a, a shuttle in that show called the Tobin. This is also the second ship that I featured on this episode that was made by Rizzozo, as you may have guessed by the name. He also did the very first ship, which was the ECCA Model 832 Survey Explorer. I'm a big fan of his art style. I think it looks really good. Um, it has quite a good amount of detail, and I find it blends into the game really well, quite seamlessly. It kind of looks like you could jump up here and get out of the ship, but of course you cannot. And after looking at all of those big ships, this little ship looks just like a tiny little thing, but I do think it is quite good looking. Uh, it actually comes in two different color variations aside from this one as well, and I'm going to show those to you right now. Here we have it in green, and there's a little bit of a brownish in there as well, and it looks nice. The two colors go good together. And here's purple. And it adds some merit here, around the back, which is cool. Once again, this is the ECCA 721 Apex Shuttle by Rizzozo. And that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Starbound Mod Outpost. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. To be notified of future episodes, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do love getting feedback. And that is it, guys. My name is Vicarious Viking. Take care, and I'll see you next time.